Hello students. In today's video on antiemetics part 2, we will study pharmacology of uh, anticholinergics uh, with reference to the use of uh, hyosin also called as uh, scopolamine in motion sickness. Now, uh, as we all know, anticholinergics is a class of uh, antiemetics. Now, the drugs included in this class are hyosin. Hyosin is also called as a scopolamine and uh, dicyclomine. Now, uh, let's uh, discuss pharmacology of uh, hyosin. Now, hyosin is an anticholinergic. It's a non-specific mascarinic antagonist of uh, acetylcholine at all mascarinic receptors. Now, hyosin is the most effective antiemetic for motion sickness. Motion sickness is also called as a travel sickness. Now, motion sickness is caused by repeated movements when traveling. Uh, traveling, for example, by train or, a, or by a bus, uh, by an air, airplane, ships, etc. Now, during traveling, one comes across repeated angular and linear movements, accelerations, that is increase in the speed of vehicle and decelerations, that is the speed of the vehicle reduces. Now, these movements disturb organ of balance, uh, that is vestibular apparatus located in the inner ear. Now, motion sickness produces symptoms uh, such as nausea, vomiting, pallor, uh, then uh, cold sweats, hypersalivation, hypoventilation and headaches. Uh, scopolamine or hyosin is administered orally by intramuscular injection or topically as adhesive transdermal patches. Now, transdermal patches of hyosin used for the prevention of uh, nausea and vomiting because of uh, motion sickness are applied behind the pinna of ear. Now, these patches may be effective up to three days. For oral administration, tablets uh, of uh, 0.2 to 0.4 milligram are given. Now, since hyosin has short duration of action, these tablets are to be taken every six hours. Now, hyosin shows uh, anticholinergic uh, side, effect, side effects since it is an anticholinergic. Uh, side effects like sedation, dry mouth, then uh, mydriasis, uh, then uh, tachycardia, urinary retention. Uh, now, let's study mechanism of action of hyosin, how uh, hyosin is useful in the uh, treatment of uh, motion sickness. Now, hyosin is a competitive antagonist of acetylcholine. Uh, that means it is a mascarinic antagonist. Hyosin competes with acetylcholine at the mascarinic receptors. Hyosin binds itself to the mascarinic receptors, thereby the hyosin blocks uh, mascarinic receptors. And thus, it prevents binding of acetylcholine uh, to the muscarinic receptors. And since acetylcholine could not bind with the uh, muscarinic receptors in the presence of hyosin, uh, this results in the loss of acetylcholine action. And therefore, hyosin is an anticholinergic. So, hyosin is a competitive antagonist of acetylcholine. Hyosin binds uh, to acetylcholine muscarinic receptors on the vestibular nuclei. Now look at this diagram. Now this diagram shows uh, vestibular apparatus or vestibule. Uh, this vestibular apparatus or vestibule is an organ that is located in the inner ear. Now this vestibule uh, regulates the balance of the body. Now, inner ear or the vestibule generates impulses due to the motion sickness or due to the travel sickness. Uh, for example, motion sickness can arise suddenly while riding in a roller uh, coaster. Now, these impulses generated by the vestibular apparatus are carried by the vestibulocochlear nerve to the vestibula, vestibular nuclei located in the brain stem. Now, this vestibular nuclei contains, uh, consists of muscarinic receptors and histamine H1 receptors. Now, acetylcholine uh, is a central agonist at uh, muscarinic receptors on the vestibular nuclei. Now, it stimulates vestibular nuclei due to motion sickness 
and the signals are relayed to the chemoreceptor trigger zone and further sent to the vomiting center that stimulates the vomiting reflex and this results in the vomiting. Now hyosin as shown here in the diagram, hyosin binds to muscarinic receptors located on the vestibular nuclei. It blocks uh, these uh, muscarinic or the cholinergic receptors and this blocks the cholinergic link between the vestibular apparatus that is inner ear and the chemoreceptor trigger zone and this prevents the stimulation of chemoreceptor trigger zone. So therefore hyosin by binding to the uh, muscarinic receptors, hyosin by blocking the muscarinic receptors prevent the stimulation of chemoreceptor trigger zone and further prevent the stimulation of vomiting center and this prevents the vomiting reflex and vomiting. And therefore, hyosin is used in the treatment and prevention of motion sickness. Now, indications of hyosin as discussed in detail, Hyosin has been used in the treatment of prevention of all causes of motion sickness. It is a first line therapy in the treatment of uh, motion sickness. Uh, hyosin however does not work in vomiting due to other etiology. It does not work in vomiting that is caused, of, uh, caused because of other reasons apart from the motion sickness. Now dicyclamine, another anticholinergic. Uh, orally, when uh, orally 10 to 20 milligram uh, tablet has been used in the prophylaxis of motion sickness. Mechanism of action of uh, dicyclamine is the same as that of hyosin. So this is in brief on pharmacology of uh, anticholinergics uh, as uh, antiemetics and the role of hyosin in the uh, prevention and treatment of uh, motion sickness. If you find the video useful, kindly like it, subscribe it and share this video. Very important to note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for students uh, from their examination point of view. Consult your physician for the use of emetics uh, in the prevention of nausea and vomiting. Uh, thanks for watching the video.